a good bad movie is one that is almost touching in its sincere incompetence. And you will never see incompetence more sincere than in The Creeping Terror. <laughs> Dad, I'm going to Hollywood. My father, who was a great, great man, looked at me with those knowing eyes and said, Billy, they picked up the United States and shook it, and all the funny people fell out to California. The Creeping Terror is a story of a man-eating carpet from outer space that lands on Lake Tahoe, Nevada, and devours the entire teenage population at the high school prom. God! Let's go. A very low-budget movie Let's get going. made by a very psychotic person. <laughs> it's got so much sexual innuendo in it, especially when the, the creeping terror is humping this car to get the victims out. There's a part where all of a sudden you're at like some weird high school dance that's happening in the middle of the afternoon or something. It, 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 it's like you're getting a peek at retarded white dancers at a certain period in history. Now you understand, and they did this for for $2.50, they didn't have a lot of money to make this movie. He had only one means left to stop the monster, grenades. The whole thing is just so bizarre that it's completely narrated with very little actual spoken dialogue. The Colonel, more concerned with saving human lives than advancing science, told Bradford to go to hell. The Creeping Terror, as a film, is a monster, but there's a another story behind who the creeping terror really is. The guy who made it was a con man who supposedly had escaped from Joliet Prison and convinced all these bored housewives and plumbers and music teachers that he was a big time movie maker named A.J. Nelson and he was going to make the biggest monster movie ever to hit Hollywood. He uh, would stand in the mirror and pretend that he was Hitler, then he'd say, I'm God. The more you know about the story behind the film, the wilder it gets. Jeez, the people that come to Hollywood. But he seemed to be very uh, um, centered about the whole thing, even though people had been furious at him. Yes, see? He was a very violent person. If you didn't do what you wanted him to do, he'd hit you. Art uh, was a junior player of the most sophisticated creeps in the world. Yeah.